What's up guys, it's me the Dumb Fanatic and welcome to the first episode of my Pokemon X Unlock. If you have not already seen, I did release an episode 0 asking you guys to pick my starter. Now, you had all weekend to do this as I was away, but I am now home and I do have the results. I'm going with what I have as of today. 37 of you voted, so thank you very much. I think that's about 60 views maybe, so just over half of you voted, which is awesome. Great interaction there from you guys. Anyway, obviously the stars you could pick from were Jespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. In last place, with 10 of the 37 votes, we had Fennekin. Still a decent share of the votes, but uh, you came last, my dear friend. I mean, I don't know, what's, what's the hate towards Fennekin? I love Fennekin, and I actually really like Delphox. Second place... The guy who just missed out, when I say just missed out, he only actually got one more vote than Fennekin. And that was Chespin. The winner of the vote with 16 votes compared to the 11 and 10 of the others is, of course, Froki. So we're going to go with Froki as our starter. Welcome to the team, dude. Now, all we have to do is come up with an innovative nickname, and I cannot think of one. What should we call it? We received the Froki, though. Now, what do we call you? What do we call you? Yes, I'd like to give it a nickname, but I do not know what. Obviously, Bubbles is way too, uh, too obvious. I honestly have no idea what to call him. Hmm. You guys are probably just shouting nicknames at me. Like, maybe anime references or something. I'm really not too sure. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna call him Wiggles. No, that no, that's stupid. Why, why would I want to call him anything? I'm really like getting innovative nickname block here, guys. For a little frog. We're gonna go with the generic. No, we're not gonna go with the generic bubbles. What can we call him? I honestly have no idea. Call him Croaky. I mean, it becomes completely irrelevant when he evolves. <laughs> we can always change the nickname, I guess. So you just decide on the nickname Croaky, yes. My partner is Fennekin. Wow, we get on together great. The two of us are just way, hey, hey, too cute. So what I'll do is actually, guys, if you guys can come up with a better nickname for uh, Froakie slash Frogadier slash Greninja, Make sure you leave it in the description, um, not description, the comments. Because obviously it will, it'll have to change. Croaky makes no sense when it's when it's not a Froakie anymore. So it received the Pokedex after me completely ignoring what they've already said. Why is Tiano, like, missing half his face? That's just weird. Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the presser wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. Let's put it another way. It is an important mission from the professor, I'm sure of it. Oh, lighten up, Trevs. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Big J, take this with you too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you'd give it to your mum. Alright, we're done with our end for the pr professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Well, let's go, Trevs! In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. You need to give that letter to your mum before you can go. Why? Why do we have to do that? Silly. Oh, what's going on here? Big J! Oh, where's the D? Wait! You're going to be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut. Okay, little Fennekin, it's our first battle. Let's win with style! Alright guys, the first battle of the Pokemon X Unlock Challenge is here, and it's against Shauna using Fennekin. It's a good job we have that type matchup. Look at Froki, so cool, I love Froki. I love Froki to bits. Obviously you have that bubble, let's have a quick look at your stats and see, see if we can get a feel for what nature you are. You look like you might be a, uh, well you're going to be something that's negative defense. The power. Power, of course. If it's a speedy McQuick Froki, that's always welcome. NASCAR Froki is Shroom Raider, we'll put it. Anyway, as you know, we can't use our, like, non-attacking move in 
Um, I believe, what do we have? Smokescreen? No. Growl. We can't use our growl attack because it's a non-offensive move. Obviously, we don't unlock that until, like, the fifth gym or something. I haven't got the list in front of me. All I know is the first one is we unlock Pokemon Evolution. Um, but I don't think we'll be able to get any Pokemon to a high enough level as to where they can evolve before the first gym. Because the first gym leader's Pokemon are level 12, or the highest is level 12, so that's all I can go to. And as you can tell, we're already at level 6, so this should be a... This will be quite hard keeping them under level 12, otherwise I do face a punishment. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Fennekin yet. We got 500 Poke Dollars for winning. Not even bad. You're amazing, Big J. <laughs> Big J. Hey, let me fix up your Pokemon. I mean, I didn't take any... Oh, no, I did. I got hit by an ember, didn't I? Say hi to your mum from me. Actually, that Fennekin outsped me. What's life? Why did the Ninja Frog get outsped by a fox? What am I, lonely nature? That's not bad, to be fair. Nice and mixed Froakie right here. Could have done one with a shiny Froakie. That would have been nice. Obviously, shiny claws will be in... in play, I guess. Is that the right word? I don't think it is, but... Shiny Pokemon, you can use. Whatever. Doesn't matter about any other rules. So, what do you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait one second, Jack. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon? Lucky you! How about that? You're a trainer now, too. Congratulations! Huh? A letter for me? It says it's somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Oh, don't get your hopes up, Mum. You're way too old for that. No, oh, wow, what lovely handwriting. Hmm, what do we have here? A request? Oh, I see. Jack, we're barely unpacked, and all kinds of things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Froki ready for your journey. Yes, let's, let us get ready. Then you go get... Oh, God, the yawn. Oh! I got up about half an hour ago. Here you are, Jack. I've even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a Rhyhorn race. You made friends. You let you met your Pokemon. And now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. So we obtained the town map. Not that I need it, because I'm pretty confident in knowing where I'm going in Kalos. And I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. You know how to use a town map, right? Yes, I do, but you're going to explain anyway, aren't you? Yep, there you go. Let's go and embark on our adventure, Froki. More importantly, oh, god damn it, right? I mean, it'd be great if I could take this Rhyhorn with me. It really would. Really help with the first gym. Ha ha ha, what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born, after all. Good luck, Jack. Go for broke, and don't worry. You'll have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. Yeah, as I was saying, Rhyhorn would have been kind of nice for the first gym. If I could randomise this game, it would be glorious. This first gym is going to be horrific. Because, you know, that butterfly thing just doesn't die early on. And it has infestation, and I can't heal. Unless it's in a move, which heals, so... You can let me past yet. Hey, Pokemon Trainer. If you set a foot in tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop out. But you'll be fine, because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Thanks, dude. I mean, I'm pretty sure Serena... No! You bastard, Pidgey! Actually, wait. Nuzlocke rule. Optional rule, which I will be enforcing. Pokemon that you encounter do not count until you have Pokeballs. I mean, Pidgey would have been kind of nice, because, you know, the first gym is Bug. Um... Gusting away would be nice. Serena's mum and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mum and dad may be good with me. Uh, may be good, sorry, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. Bunnelby! Oh, man, if you catch a huge power Bunnelby this early on. Fletching would be kind of cool. I have to admit, I would like a Fletchling. Because I don't actually think I've actually used a Talon Flame in-game. I had one just for hatching purposes, or, you know, breeding purposes, I should say. Um, so it'd be kind of cool if I did get one. Plus, oh man, Gale Wings is such a good ability. But unfortunately, it's its hidden ability, and Flame Body's not bad, I guess. Pokeball, is this Bunnelby gonna be caught? Is this Bunnelby gonna be caught? I highly expect it will. Spoilers! Spoilers! 
I really hope we don't get Bunnelby. I do not want a Bunnelby. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball! Sean, what do you think your Fennekin is inside of right now? Hey, I'll share some Pokeballs with you two. Jack, put the Pokeballs in the item's pocket. Pokeballs, do you think you can catch Pokemon with them too? Oh, do you think I can? God, she's so retarded. Sure, you can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it and they'll become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes the Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. Oh god, guys. We're about to get our first encounter. What is it going to be? It's a Scatterbug, of course. Well, I say this is like a bad thing. Actually, it's not. I wouldn't mind actually having a... Oh god, I can't attack you again, otherwise you die. Right, let's chuck some Pokeballs at you. I say it like a bad thing, but honestly, having a Scatterbug here, having a Vivion potentially for the gym, is actually really good. Especially if it lands Gust. That will really help. Gotcha! Scatterbug was cool. Nice. Cricky gained 11 experience. All of that experience. When under attack from bird Pokemon, it spews a poisonous black powder that causes paralysis on contact. Give a nickname to the court, Scatterbug. Yes, we have to give it a nickname. Now, what do we want to call you? What do we want to call you? You're going to be a Vivion. Um. Uh. 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 Oh, God, the pressure. What do we call you? What do we call you? You're going to be a... You're going to be a Vivion, hopefully, one day. Um. 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 I don't know. I honestly have no idea what to call this thing. This bug. What are you going to be? What are you going to be called? I honestly have no idea. I know, we'll call it... If, if, if... If that goes through, this is a lovely English phrase. No, you can't enter that, wo enter that word. That's bullshit. You cannot have bugger. God damn you, filter. Um. Alright, in honor of Mr. Satoru Iwata and his progress in Pokemon Gold and Silver. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, dude. Um, we'll call this Bugsy because obviously Mr. Iwata famously compressed Pokemon Gold and Silver enough so he could fit uh, Kanto in. So obviously Bugsy is from the game. So we'll call it Bugsy, even though it's a female. Nice and jolly. Nice and physically offensive Scatterbug. Well, that's great considering Gust is like my main use for this thing for the time being. Um, that would be doing lots of nice damage, I guess. <laughs> but that also means we now have a bug type, so we can't actually catch another bug type. Well, we can catch one, just can't use another bug type. Okay, we can we can kill the Scatterbug now. We can just get all the experience we want. I do need to level up Scatterbug, though. Tackle! Please don't do much. Actually, me having a negative defense nature is not good to start off with. Because everything just has Tackle. And Stab Tackle early on can actually be scary. I'm really glad, actually, that in the forest they heal your Pokemon for you. Otherwise, that's just scary stuff. Right, let's go heal. Thank you for letting me pass this time. I'm going to use the analog stick. Oh my god! Are you serious right now? Another Scatterbug, of course. This, what's this one be like, level 5? That would have been really helpful. Level 2. Are they all level 2? That Pidgey, though! That Pidgey! I want that Pidgey! Annoying thing. I will be playing, um... Dupes Claws, by the way. Uh, the way I'll be playing it is probably... Um... If I have one that's alive, I won't take it, but if my Pokemon, I, ha I have already caught the Pokemon, and it's fainted, it's dead in the box, I will catch it again. I think that seems like a fair rule. Um, yeah, thank you for healing me there, missus. I guess we stick Scatterbug on top? And try and kill things with Fruki? I guess? Maybe? Is that how we're going to do things? I mean, Scatterbug needs some level- oh my god, are you serious? 
Can I get through this grass? Please. Fletchling, no, don't taunt me now. Thing is, I'm going to get a Caterpie or a Weedle in the forest, and I'm not going to be able to use it. Unless I use that instead of Vivion and take a Butterfree. Hmm. No, because Vivion gets Gust. I need that. I need Gust more. Croaky. I mean, I could just take both, actually, to be fair. Not bad. I oh, know, because they're both bug types, so I can't. Oh, cry. All my strategies thrown out the window. Right. Finally, we made it. Look, this, start, this dude is looking at me. You're meant to have started a battle by now. You're not meant to wait for me to walk past. You look, look, he's looking at me. When two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin. I mean, you get to hear one of the first... I mean, I love the music in this game. I just do. Zigzagoon. What level are you going to be? Please be a pathetic level. Something Speeper can live. Not Speeper. You Speeper? No, you're not Speeper. You're Scatterbug. Level 5 Zigzagoon. That scares me a bit. That actually scares me a bit. Go for Baby Doll Eyes or Growl or something, please. Just not Tackle. Damn it. I said not Tackle. How's that going to do? <laughs> 6 damage. I had to kill this thing in quite a few bubbles. Oh, okay. This should, this should be doable. This should be doable unless there's a crit. Then I might cry. I might cry if I lose Froakie this early on and have to win with a level 2 Scatterbug. Oh my lord, that would be horrible. Come on, Froakie, pull through. Thank you, Froakie. We're in that torrent range in for Extreme Speed Six again. Okay, there's no Extreme Speed Six again. I'm happy. Oh god, I hope he only had one Pokemon. 51 experience. Good. Good. We're still in torrent range. I think. Level 3. Ah, oh, phew. That was it. Woo! That was way too close already. God, why did I take on this challenge? This is going to be impossible. <laughs> Early game is going to be impossible. Wait up! Let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stand by you. I'll heal your Pokemon whenever you want me to. Heal my Pokemon, please. Yes, thank you. Right, you can hear all these uh, fletchlings in the background. It's such a nice touch. Right, we have a potion. Obviously, I can use this out of battle, just not in battle. There's quite a few items in this place, so... Look, now I don't find a wild Pokemon. I'm hoping I find a Pikachu in here, but I think they're quite rare in this forest. What's it going to be? Okay, it's another Scatterbug. We don't, have to, we don't catch this yet. Oh god, it's a Scatterbug versus Scatterbug. Run? I am I am NASCAR spat, sc spatter scatterbug with my jolly nature. Fear me and my scatterbug. Yeah, them U turns gonna be doing damage if it even gets U turned. <laughs> so we put that in the medicine pocket. Right, we need to find some Pokemon here. Let's let's find our encounter. See if it's a scatterbug again. A Caterpie, of course, of course. It's gonna be. It's always gonna be a Caterpie. Always going to be a Caterpie. Um, level 2. Let's go for Tackle. Oh, God. This is horrible. The thing is, I can't deposit this cat pee yet. And this is all three of my slots taken up. However, I do believe that, in fact, I can't... Can I catch any more Pokemon before the gym anyway? I'm not entirely sure. But I think one more Tackle will be enough where we can use... Don't Tackle me. That's not fair. Oh, that was a critical hit, of course. Oh, right, you live in. You're living. Let's go for the Pokeball. Why did I just... Never mind. Never mind. Let's throw this at the Cappy. <coughs> so I'm telling you now, guys. This does not break the Species Clause. One, because Cappy's going to go in the box straight away as soon as it can. Two, I haven't exactly got a choice. I can't deposit it. I think that'd be a bit unfair. But Scabug grew level four. Good going, Scabug. Good going. Hardy, oh, and yeah, I know exactly what I'm nicknaming this. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from its antenna on its head to drive away enemies. Give a nickname to the court canopy. Oh, man. Hi, Hardy. Even though you're a female. Oh, wait, this fits perfectly. Sweet. Hardy Tech Yo-Yo is part of the team. 
If you don't know who Hardy is, I suggest you go look. Okay, heal me up, please, Shauna. If you're going to talk about... Talk about it. Just just do it. Don't talk about it. Alright, let's go over here. Um, try and avoid the grass now, I guess. Battle! If you battle, you learn more about your partner. I want to battle someone. I want Scatbug to grow some levels. Although well, Shauna's now going to get me a secret item. Look what I found, Big J. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so watch everything more closely than you might think. Jack obtained the paralyzed heal. I can't use. <laughs> anyway, let's go and take on this trainer here. Come on, Scabug, let's powder this punk. Yes, let's powder this punk. Why not? Youngster Joey! Joey! Youngster Joey! With his Scabug. Oh, God. Hot, hot Scabug on Scabug action here. Oh, wait, we're high level. Yes, we can take this. We can take the Scabug on. NASCAR Scatterbug, go. String shot. No, not so NASCAR Scatterbug anymore. God, how can... I can't I can't imagine any form, anything, any fong, anything more exciting than Scatterbug on Scatterbug action right now. I've just noticed that little bits come out of, like, Spooper's little mane when he attacks. I see, you keep string shotting. All I can do is click tackle. It's all I can do... I mean, I'll like learn Stun Spore or something in a minute. I can't even use Stun Spore. It'd be so handy in the gym. It's not even funny. Okay, you just... Yeah, okay. NASCAR Scatterbug has pretty much had its wheels taken off right now. It's doing nothing with its speed. We might level up, though. We might level up. The good thing about bugs is at least they level up really quick. Oh, wow. That was nothing. Oh, God, Fletchling. Yeah, let, let, let's get out of there. We've always got Heidi Tech as death fodder if we need it. Sorry, Hardy. Okay, you're, oh, you're only level 3. You'll only have Tackle. You won't even have Peck. That's depressing. Scabbug could have taken you. Whoa! Scabbug could have taken you on. And you're just going to growl. Actually, yeah, that would have been really annoying to Scabbug in if you just click and growl. Let's bubble. And that's a dead fledgling. Huh? Phew! I really could have done with a Fletchling. So far, I've dodged two flying types. There better be one on the next route, I, I swear. Cheer up, Scatterbug. We lost this time. But we'll get the next one who comes along for sure. Yes, definitely. With your Scatterbug. The greatest thing alive. Heal me, Shauna. Yes, I do want you to heal. Otherwise, I wouldn't talk to you. There's no other reason to talk to you ever. Other than asking you to heal my Pokemon for me. And there's Serena. Is there really only one more trainer in this place? Have I? I feel like I've missed someone. Ah, oh, Pansy! I forgot you can get the monkeys. Oh, that'd have been so handy. NASCAR Scatterbug, go away safely. Oh, I forgot about the monkeys. No. Oh, oh man, Cappy, why? Cappy, why? Cappy, why did you do this to me? Oh god, one of these has a Pikachu. Yeah, you, you have a Pikachu. This could be an issue. Level 5 as well. Oh god, these Thundershocks are going to do so much damage. Okay, you growl. I love how Pikachu gets his actual cry. It would also be cool if everything got the cry like that, though. I really think it would be. Okay, as soon as I switch into Froakie, I know he will click Thundershock. You know it. Crit? No. Oh, there it is. How did I not see that one coming at all? Do I switch into Froakie right now? I'm a man. We'll take we'll take the Thundershock. We can live two. We can live two, Froakie. Don't worry. Oh, damn it. Of course, the plays. Okay, eight damage. Oh, God. I literally have to kill this thing in two bubbles. Go for Growl, please, Pikachu. Oh, God. Right, I should be in Torrent range. I should be in torrent range for the next one. Oh god, this this is this is spooky. Bubble, please, for the love of God. Yes. Oh, that was spooky. That was spooky. Spooky stuff. 120 experience. That's a lot of experience. NASCAR, quick attack. Oh, you do not understand how helpful that is. Okay. Sad thing is, Froakie can only grow three more levels. Anything, if it goes over, I get a punishment. Bugs will be level five. And that's it. Froakie grows two levels. 
and Scabbug grows one. Yep, I was the one who got shot. 120 Pokedollars for winning. Yes, please heal me, Shauna. I need it. I need it so hard right now. Wait. In in this context, of course, not any other context. I do have some more Pokemon. The best part about Pokemon battles is they can happen anytime, with anyone, anywhere. Lots of any's, basically. You are challenged by Last Liza or Liza Weedle. Okay. We can beat this thing one on one. Poison Sting will not poison us because I believe. Do we have Shield Dust? Or are we Compound Eyes? Shield Dust. Blocks the additional effects of attacks taken. Dude, we need one more experience. That's bull. Right, come on, Scatterbug. We can take on this Weedle for Hardy, for us, for everybody. Wow, and we crit it. We crit it and get a strong shot. This thing has just spewed everywhere, all over us. Poison Sting, that will do like, yeah, nothing. No poison, because Shield Dust and Weedle dies. Weedle dee, Weedle da. Level 6, Scatterbug. Oh, I can feel it. NASCAR Spewper is on its way. Stun Spore, which I can't use. Bunnelby. Ooh. Bunnelby isn't scary. He's not that strong without huge power. We're, we're two levels higher. We might, be able, we might be okay. We might be okay. Tackle, how much does this do? Four damage. Okay, we've got this. Ooh. Spewper. Calm down, boy. Girl. Girl, girl. You're a girl. Yeah, we've just named a male, a female after a male character. Standard rules. That has to happen at least once in a Nuzlocke. Spewper pulling through against Bunnelby. Are you going to get enough experience to grow a level though? Probably not. Only 39 experience. That's depressing. I've got to keep battling and training up my really awesome Pokemon team. I'll heal your Pokemon whenever you want. Oh yeah, well please do. It's a po There's an item down there. I need to go pick it up. I need to pick this up. A Pokeball! Sweet. Put the Pokeball in the item's pocket. Not like... Well, actually, I guess it would be handy. Let's... Uh, oh, let's catch that. You want to catch a Pikachu? Last time I played this, she said that and I found a Pikachu. Fancy! Hey, buddy. I reckon we could take you on. Especially with a grass move. Oh, man. Why don't I have an offensive bug move? Play nice. Are you seriously? Are you seriously? Are you serious? Nah, fuck that. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Screw that. We are out of here, Bugsy. Oh, one of them monkeys would have been so nice to have. I forgot you could even get them in here. The fire monkey, of course. But it's not the only fire type we can get this early on. You will find out, hopefully. We're here. We made it to the end of the forest. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move, it's just incredible. I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance. Tiana, could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here. Let's go to Santaloon City. Well, guys, we'll head off to Santaloon City next time. Thank you for watching this first episode of Pokemon X Unlock. If you guys have a nickname suggestion for Froki, uh, or any of the team members, I guess. Um, I can, I'm open to changes because I'm really not that creative. Um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a thumbs up uh, on the video. Support is always greatly appreciated. Um, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.